Good morning everybody, it's Kim Krempler of Uniquely Savvy and this morning I wanted to bring to you a video blog of, of, of this amazing quote and more importantly a separate amazing woman. I wanted to be a certain kind of woman. I became that kind of woman. My question for you all this morning is ladies and gentlemen, what kind of man or woman do you want to be? As we are in the month of uh, vision for Uniquely Savvy and last month coming off of the month of Carpe Diem, who is it that you want to be? So this morning, guys, I woke up with uh, Kathy Gertzen on my mind. Kathy Gertzen is a local icon and legend. Uh, she is a she was a uh, news anchor for Como News, and yesterday I was um, shocked to learn um, that we did lose Kathy after her battle with with brain tumors, and her legacy legacy is absolutely beautiful, so powerful, so moving that she was on my mind first thing this morning. Some of the things that I read about her is that she's courageous, yes, indeed. She's a woman of faith, consummate journalist, quiet warrior. I say she's elegant and she's classy. They say she's funny. She's outsized in civic duty. Kathy, may you rest in peace as we know that you are. And we offer our prayers and our condolences to your family and to your friends. Guys, this morning... I was really thinking about this quote from Diane von Furstenberg, and I thought, oh, boy, we have an example right here in our own Kathy Gertzen. And I wanted to learn more about her. Guys, I found this beautiful clip that speaks and embodies the essence of who Kathy is and who she was, the essence of inside-out beauty, the choice, the courage, the strength, that she needed, that she chose, so that she could be the woman she wanted to be. I promise if you watch this, uh, you won't regret it. And I'll leave it at that. And I'll also post the clip. This is from Como News. It is a tribute from Eric Johnson. And actually, I was trying to find just a snippet, but it is all so good. I'm just going to let you all watch it from the beginning. It is five minutes and 25 seconds. Life is fun. Life is meant to be lived. And there's, you know, I'm not one to hide. I'm, I've never hidden this whole experience of what's happened to me. And now I'm showing it all. And um, that's just who I am. You know, I'm, I'm tough. I'm a cougar. Two daughters, a husband, a million friends, a mother and a wife, 12 long years of doubt and fear, five times under the knife. Thoughts and prayers from those who care, friends and admirers everywhere, and she's still here. I had one tumor that uh, we have had treated over and over again. Well, I've tried everything, and um, it grew a few new ones came out of that one. The face, this part isn't moving like it should. My, my, I can't feel my tongue. Uh, my eye isn't closing right. And so um, it's given me a great empathy for people who are deal with this sort of thing or, or who look different. Labs and MRIs and consultations, appointments, scans, medications, surgery and chemo and radiation. Through it all, the black thing grows, and on and on and on it goes, but she's still here. It's kind of unsettling for people who haven't seen me for a while. Um, it's unsettling for me. I don't even like looking in a mirror, but I'm still happy. I'm still me. My face is different, but it's me, and I'm, I'm fine. Five tumors fighting for space, pushing against a brain. Five reasons to stay in bed, to buckle under strain. Three reasons to get back up, to face another day. 
And so she pushes on. There is no other way. She's still here. That's not to say that I don't want to stay under the covers some days, but it's really boring under there. And I, I can't stay there because there's too much to do. There's too much of life to live. Week turns to month, month turns to year. The wit, the edge, the joy, still here. The knowing look, the strength, the drive, the love of life, all still alive. Guts and verve, strength and nerve, can't comprehend defeat. Face the world, live life, love life, be a mom, repeat. Luckily for me, another thing I'm so thankful for is they've been so patient here and have, have kept me at Como and they've stood by me and have continued to let me do what I want to do even though I look like this. Uh, you know, my mouth isn't working right. I, it, it wouldn't be fair for the viewer to try to understand the news every day. It, it's, it's something I miss greatly though. I, I really miss being in my anchor chair. A dignified battle in a nasty war, a test of metal down at the core. Plants her feet, makes a stand, goes to any length. Even the cold black thing in her head must shiver at the strength. And she's still here. Oh, I don't take anything for granted. I, every, last night I watched the moon set, and this morning I saw the mountains with snow and clear, and I don't take ever take that for granted. It, one moment. There is no budget surplus. Thinks about beauty and that which is lost. Measures the changes, adds up the cost. Gets on with life, forgets for a while, mourns the loss of a perfect smile. That is the most frustrating thing for me out of all of this that's going on with my face. It's the inability to smile. I want to say, <laughs> I'm smiling. And you can still smile with your eyes and with your body, but... No, I miss, I miss my smile most of all. I mean, my face has been who I am. And this has caused me to really say, is your face who you are? Not really. Won't give an inch, won't be dragged down, loves this place, owns this town. Still standing, still loving, still talented, still clever, still Como's Kathy Gertzen, more beautiful than ever. She's still here. I refuse to let this brain tumor define who I am. I'm, I'm still me. I'm not an illness. I'm not sick. It's not easy to keep going, but um, you can and you must. Guys, you can see why I couldn't cut any bit of that out. You saw, you learned of, of this woman and her truth and her honesty and celebrating life, taking opportunities to, to enjoy the moon and to not take things for granted. Kathy Gertzen is a champion in our own backyard. What can we learn from her? What can we learn from her? So again, it just is a beautiful coincidence, again, coincidence, that on our wall we have, I wanted to be a certain kind of woman or man, and I became that kind of woman. So, everybody, I hope that was an inspiring and encouraging blog and that you took something away, something to noodle on, something to put forth into your day, into your vision of who you want to be. And uh, I'm signing off from Uniquely Savvy for now. And again, Kathy, thank you for being such a beautiful, beautiful model and leaving such a, a grand legacy. Our prayers are with your family. Bye for now, everybody.